Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft class, specifically a sleeper edge rusher by the name of Ola Sun Kanmi. I'm probably saying this name wrong. Uh, Adenayi, uh, the basically the edge rusher from Toledo. Uh, and the reason I wanted to highlight him is because he's one of the most, one of the more productive edge rushers in this draft class. Um, he's a guy that when you watch him on film, he has some flashes here and there of explosiveness, some flashes of speed, some other sort of stuff like that. He definitely doesn't look, you know, he definitely is more of an undersized edge rusher type. You know, like he's not exactly a guy that you would have as a full service defensive end in a 4-3, but he definitely has that sort of prototypical 3-4 outside linebacker edge rusher sam linebacker rusher type uh for the most part um and i just wanted to highlight him today because he has a lot of very interesting data now for those that are new to the channel or not familiar with the work that i do uh all terms of definitions will be in the description so you can just kind of go there to get a general uh idea of a lot of the work that i do in terms of data but the one thing you should know is defensive market share that's primarily what this video is going to focus on and defensive market share is essentially where you take an individual defensive statistic and you divide it by the team total statistics. So, for example, uh, if you have a, uh, when it comes to Adenayi, uh, if you, say, have 10 tackles for loss with him on a team that has 100 tackles for loss, then Adenayi has 10% tackle for loss market share. But what you do is you take that number and you compare it to every single edge rusher per, uh, performance since the 1989 NFL draft class. And then boom, you have a way of seeing where the all pro players typically produce in terms of their production profile, where the pro bowl players typically produce in terms of their profile. And of course, where even some, some of the long-term starters produce in terms of their profile as well. Um, so that's the basics in terms of what defensive market share is and the importance of it. Um, so first off, let's look at his production profile. So this is why I wanted to bring this guy out here because based on my data, he pretty much hits every single minimum threshold for all pro potential and pro bowl potential. It is important to note that he did play at Toledo. So there is sort of a question mark here because of strength of schedule, but despite strength of schedule, this is still very good production. So you know, 83.09 out of 100 in terms of solo tackle data, 89.28 in terms of sack data, and 97.35 in terms of tackle for loss data. Um, Adenayi pretty much hits every single, again, every single minimum threshold in terms of a high quality um, edge rusher. And even though his strength to schedule data might make him more of a long-term starter per se than like a high quality guy, because typically speaking, guys that play at lesser competition or Guys that produce a lot against lesser strength of schedules typically don't hit those high quality marks. Despite that, this is still a guy that needs to be on your radar. You know, this is a guy that came out early for the draft. You know, he's an early, uh, basically was an early declaration guy. And you can kind of see why. Now, maybe he shouldn't have come out in this class. I mean, I don't know. But I do think that this is a guy that when you look at his production profile, pretty much hits everything that you want to look at. When you look at his film... Uh, and again, I don't have the rights to any of his film to put on this video. So I know a lot of you guys ask me for videos where I add highlights and stuff like that. I just can't do it, guys. I don't own the rights to, the, to, the, to those videos. So I really can't. I don't want to get copyright strikes on my videos, guys. So, But ultimately, when it comes to Denny, good overall profile in terms of production. And I think there's a very good chance that he could be a very good value, especially if he tests well at the Combine or at his Pro Day. Um, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.